Hello my good viewers, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for your support. I love you all. So guys, today I'm back with this video about the Kenyan Gideri. Gideri is a mixture of beans and maize. In this channel, I've done two or three different videos of Gideri. So I've done traditional Gideri. So today I'm going to share with you how Kenyan Gideri is done, the common or the modern one. So that is a mixture of beans and maize. So guys, let's cook. The ingredients I have here, I have my maize here. They are green maize, very, very soft, guys. Soft maize makes Gideri look so, wow, look, it's still producing milk. It's so soft, soft, soft. What I have here is also my yellow beans so this is kenyan beans one of the kenyan beans and it's in fact it is the best bean so far the yellow beans so i've just soaked it in water for about two hours just as, as you can see and the reason why i soak it one so that it can be soft and uh, cook faster and the most important reason why i soaked it is to reduce some gas there are people who complain of acidic or gas in their stomach once they use beans so to avoid that and to make you enjoy your meal, you have to soak it for about two hours. Another ingredient that I'm going to use are carrots. You can see guys, I've just diced them the same size of beans and um, maize so that it, it can also make the gideri, at least it can also give it a different taste guys. And some people prefer also using some English uh, potato. But for me, in this case, I'm just going to use these three ingredients first. If you are new here, please view this video, give it a like, share, and subscribe. Remember also the notification bell as well. If you have come, just come back. Thank you for coming back, and please share this video. And for those who are new, please, there are ads there. Please don't skip the VAT. If you want to promote Rebikit Foods, please don't skip the ad. So I'm just going to mix my beans and maize. So guys, if I told you our maize is that dry one, you can soak it first. And after soaking it, you should boil it first. Make sure it boils first before you add in some beans. Because it's even when it's hard, you have to cook it first to get a bit softer so that you can mix it with the beans so that they can cook together. So as in my case, I've not soaked maize because I chose from the green maize, which are very soft. And I've soaked my beans as well, which has become a bit softer. So this is when now you mix. And the ratio will also depend. If you want your gideri to taste well, make sure you do a good ratio of beans and maize. As in this case, I have one kg of maize and I've also done one kg of, of beans. And remember guys, I'm also going to use some carrots. So obviously my mixture will be very nice and will be tasty. You'll see the end of the everything because carrots is also going to add weight to this mixture. Another thing, the reason why I've done them equal, because when you're cooking it, they, they swell. So once they swell, they look at least reasonable or much. So it, it's going, somehow it's going to overweigh maize after boiling. And the guys remember also, on addition to that, carrots too. Ah, it's going to be so, so nice. So those who are not coming from Kenya, this is one of the most favorite Kenyan recipe. If you come to Kenya, you can never go back to your country before you take Gideri. So that's why I said I just have to share with you so that once when you come to Kenya, you know what Gideri is all about. You can also try it on your own in your country because I know most all these countries you have most beans and maize. So make sure you have a, at least a spacious pan which will come accommodate it well and also will accommodate water. It depends on how, which the method of heating that you're going to do. If you put it in pressure cooker, it will just go for about 30 minutes and it will be ready. I'm going to use uh, charcoal stove. And for charcoal stove, it's going to take about 
one hour or two. This is the pan that I'm going to use to boil it. As I just told you, I'm going to boil it in charcoal stove. So you will transfer everything in here. Uh, my pan is large enough. It has left. I've just left some space, which I'm going to use to fill in some water. Added some water, so I'll just keep it now to cook. And as it cooks, you keep checking on to add water as it cooks. So keep tuned, and then after boiling now, we are going to do the next step, which is now frying. So, so guys, this is the best time now, because carrots can cook easily, and while this, the berry is now getting softer, this is the right time now to add carrots. So, guys, you can see how colorful, colorful, colorful it looks. Give it about... 10-20 minutes, then I'll fry it now. So guys, I've just finished boiling my dairy and it is now soft and ready. So I just want to fry it now. And I'm just, these are the ingredients that I'm going to use. I have red onions that I've just chopped. I have salt to taste. And I'm going to use only two spices, curry powder and turmeric. So my pan has just heated and my oil is very, very hot. So I just want to add my onion first. I'm not going to use tomatoes. I'm just going to use my onions. And once my onions are transformed, I'm just going to add some curry powder. A tablespoon of curry powder because my berry is at last a lot. So just add in this berry now. And now give it a good stir. The reason why I'm not going to use some tomatoes is because of the acidity of tomatoes uh, beans. So the cuberry is just ready now and I'm just going to serve it now. Kenyan Giberi. If you can just look at it, see how yummy it looks. Enjoy it. Don't let it so dry. It should have some little stew. Remember the maize is just too soft. So please view this video. Mm, it's nice, 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 nice. Kenyan Giberi. View this video here and try this the same, same way. You can as well blend it with some avocados that makes it even more and more tastier, guys. Thank you for watching. Please let me eat another video. Welcome.